How to spy on your partner. Spycatcher Online would like to make it clear that some of the products featured in this film are illegal within the EU and around the world. You must check your local laws before buying or using any of these products. Hello and welcome to Video Jug. Meet Sarah. Sarah has decided that she must know what her boyfriend James is doing all the time. However, you're very busy, aren't you, Sarah? You can't be expected to follow your man around all day, can you? Well, never fear, because Video Jug is here to help. We've been in contact with the good people at Spycatcher Online to help Sarah find out what products are available to keep an eye on her man. Step 1. What's he up to when I'm not home? All of these harmless-looking everyday objects have a hidden camera and microphone inside them. The camera has a lens only 2 millimeters wide but is still capable of full-color video pictures. So why not get a working CD alarm clock for your bedroom? A girly book that he'll never touch for the bookshelf in your lounge? Or a new wall clock for the kitchen? All of these cameras can send the video to your computer for recording. But hey! Who wants to be tied to a computer all day when you can receive the video direct to your mobile phone? Modern day surveillance, eh? Ooh. Wow. Step 2. What's he doing at work? OK, so the home is safe, but we all know that the workplace is not an environment to leave your partner unsupervised. To create an adequately safe space at work, you're going to need to enlist the help of someone at his workplace. Meet Pele. Pele has agreed to help Sarah because James keeps stealing his stationery. Pele's going to replace James's mouse with this ultra-high frequency transmitter. It works the same as any other mouse, while also transmitting all sound within 10 meters to a UHF receiver which has a digital recorder attached. Unfortunately, those pesky little people at the EU have made it illegal to use UHF technology. But never fear. You can always just place this four-way socket extension plug under his desk instead. It includes a GSM bug that you can call from a phone and hear everything that's going on. Of course, it's not just what he's saying that needs monitoring. Sarah will need to keep track of what her man is typing as well. No problem. Simply get your mole to plug this key watcher into the back of his computer. This nifty piece of kit stores 65,000 characters of text. All you need to do is type the password into a Word document and everything he's typed that day will appear on the page. Naughty. Step 3. Who's he phoning? Unfortunately, unless you're a government, Spycatcher won't help you access mobile phone conversations. But if you'd like to eavesdrop on his landline conversations, they'll be happy to help. Just take the model of his phone that he uses to the people at Spycatcher and they will fit it with this lovely transmitter which can send all conversations to a UHF receiver. Then all you need to do is get your mole at the office to swap the phones. Well done, Pele. Step 4. Where is he? Of course your partner isn't always at home or at work, and if he isn't being monitored, he's a liability. We suggest you get Pele to fit this device to the bottom of his car. It's a vehicle tracker. And once fitted, it will constantly send details of its position to a satellite. The good people at Spycatcher will then send you text alerts telling you the tracker's longitude, latitude, postcode and the street name that it's on at regular intervals. They can even send you a web address that will show you all the places your partner's car visited over any defined period. If any of them strike you as suspicious, just select it and you will get the details of the location including the time it was visited. Step 5. Is he lying? So, you've bugged his workplace, set up cameras in the home, monitored phone calls and tracked his movements, but how can you really tell that you have a faithful partner? Well, why not phone him with a disguised voice? All you need is a voice modulator. This device allows you to speak in the voice of another man or woman. Why not call yourself Babushka and say that you met him on a night when he was particularly drunk and he gave you his number? If he tries to arrange a date, then you've got him. If he says, I'm sorry, but I have a girlfriend whom I love very much and so could not possibly meet despite any comments I may have made when inebriated, well, then you should really be ashamed of yourself. Happy spying, Sarah.